Hello everybody, it's your boy WildsDS, and today we are back for another Minecraft Mod Mondays mod review. Oh come on now, baby. And today the mod I am reviewing for you guys is the Kingdom Hearts block by block mod. And essentially what this mod seeks to do is it tries to recreate Kingdom Hearts as well as it can in the Minecraft universe. And just being a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, I was really excited about reviewing this mod for you guys. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so first things first, you're wondering, how do I get my Keyblade? And essentially what you need is a wooden sword and you just need to find one of the shadows, which is the basic mob in Kingdom Hearts and the basic mob of this mod. But all you have to do is take your wooden sword and right click a shadow and you have your old kingdom key that's right and essentially this this uh this kingdom key takes no durability damage right uh same like the like your keyblade uh doesn't take any durability damage in the actual game um and basically it has infinite use and has the power of a wooden sword right now but don't worry because you can upgrade it and essentially it does four damage which is two hearts as one damage is just half a heart um, I'll talk about the mobs in a second, but right now let me show you how to upgrade your Keyblade. Okay, well essentially, I'm very, I organize this all so I don't have to do it all on improv, but um, basically, if you have the Kingdom Key and you put it in with any of these materials in any sort of crafting grid, you can poop out uh, all the different Keyblades uh, from the first game, and it's just really cool. I mean, you can see you have the Divine Rose, the Fairy Harp, the Three Wishes, the Spellbinder, the Pumpkin Head, the Crab Claw, the Lionheart, Olympia, Metal Chocobo, Oath Keeper, Oblivion, and the Kingdom Key D, as well as the Ultimate Weapon, which I'll show you in a second. But um, basically, how this grid, yeah, so these are the things you add when the crafting grid, and you get the, the Keyblade, um, the, the Keyblade that is next to them out, and this is the amount of damage it does, but basically you can divide by two to see how many hearts that is so the kingdom key d doesn't do 16 hearts it's not a one hit kill it does eight hearts which uh let me just give you uh some perspective a unenchanted diamond sword does seven hearts so yeah it's pretty good and uh, here's the ultimate weapon you can actually craft the kingdom key d um straight from vanilla gameplay but you can do the ultimate weapon which is equally powerful so let me plop this down in my inventory because i'm going to want to use that to slay some mobs um but you need for this one the ultimate keychain, and this is how you craft the ultimate keychain. It is quite expensive, but that that's that's guaranteed, that's warranted because it is like the most powerful weapon in the game that you can get unenchanted, and you can enchant these. So I mean, it still is amazing. I mean, an enchanted diamond sword probably will be better, but this this is more accessible, I'd say. <laughs> so you don't have to do the all the farming of experience. Okay, well now let me talk about the mobs. This this mod adds five new mobs, which first right here you can see is the soldier is one of them. You you have your old little shadow, the basic, the basic Kingdom Hearts mod and all, uh, mob in all the games. You have the air soldier, which uh, doesn't actually fly, kind of hovers above the ground. And last but not least, you have the minute bombs or minute bombs. Not really sure how you pronounce it, which sort of act like creepers and see they'll drop gunpowder and they'll blow up on you <laughs> um so yeah and well not that actually sorry i screwed that up that's not the last one there's one more the neo shadow which uh, is kind of elusive so i'm going to cut here and i'm going to come back to you when i find the neo shadow because it's kind of like an enderman and it's hard to find so we'll be right back okay we're back and i found the neo shadow for you guys so as you can see he's like an enderman uh, he does teleport and have all those qualities and um, basically from what i've seen these mobs uh from the kingdom hearts block by block mod do kind of dominate spawning. I don't see many regular hostile mobs um, with with this mod addition. I do see the regular ones like sheep and stuff spawn, but yeah, I, I do kind of have. A, I haven't found any regular mobs, so I think this mod kind of. It searches to make it full of a, ki a full Kingdom Hearts experience, so you might not see your typical spiders and creepers uh, much after installing it, but it truly is a great mod. It does a great job at uh, reconstructing Kingdom Hearts in the Minecraft world uh, on the level, and it is a work in progress, so I'm really excited to see what uh, what it has to come. And uh, last but not least, I just got, forgot to point out one feature. Uh, with your with your Keyblades, if you are disappointed with what you did, you can simply put them back in the grid and get a Kingdom Key back out 
out, but you do lose uh, the stuff you put in to transform the Keyblade into what you decided you want it to be. But that's that for the Kingdom Hearts block by block mod. Uh, if you liked, remember to leave a rate and a comment. And if you're new, subscribe for more mod reviews, texture pack reviews, let's plays, and much more. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I love you. And hopefully you can uh, kill some Heartless and, you know, save, save, save the world and maybe find uh, Kyrie while you're at it with this mod. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.